One of the things I love most about being a podiatrist is that we have these long-term relationships with our patients that can go on 15, 20 years. Just like the lady that you'll see in the video today, she's been a patient for over 15 years and her husband was as well. And sometimes it can feel like two good girlfriends going out for a glass of wine and uh, the conversations just happen. So enjoy the video. Did you go back and have your follow-up appointment with the gastroenterologist? Well, it was an ENT guy that found it. Oh, okay. And so did they tell you, here's the next step? Or did you not go back for your follow-up yet? I did go yesterday for the follow-up. What did they recommend? And, um, oh, we talked about lots of things, but um, he said to have it fixed, and he knows somebody that can fix it. But there's something else. I also have a uh, hernia in my belly mm -hmm. button. So from lifting rock. And, mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just not feeling surgery right now. <laughs> well, now's the time to take care of yourself. Mm hmm. Well, I just turned 65, so. Well, and you were a caregiver for so many years. Yeah. Unfortunately, those are both elective procedures, mm -hmm. so you can wait until you're feeling it. All right. My feet feel so good after these are cut. Oh, good. They really do. That's what I like to hear. You've got this little teeny corn right there. Has that been bothering you? Well, um, my feet have been giving me, yes, okay. diabetic neuropathy. <laughs> you know, whatever. The top of this one has been hurting me, so I don't know why. Now, you know, the reason that you have that corn is because probably your shoes when you're walking, because this is the baby toe so short that your shoes are hitting like that. Mm -hmm. So you just want to make sure that all your shoes are long enough. Okay. Not necessarily measuring only the big toe, but just make sure that these toes are also not hitting the front of the shoe. Mm -hmm. Okay, were there other calluses? Yeah, I've okay. one on the bottom of this one always. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to rearrange the room a little bit. That one and that one. Does that bother you at all? Mm -hmm. 
All right, so we'll start on her, this foot. Right there. Skip. This one, there isn't much of a callus here at all. Your left foot is a lot worse. Yeah, these calluses really aren't very bad. Yeah. So other than your doctor visits, have you been doing anything fun? Are you writing poetry again? Mm -hmm. I have not written much. I have put a couple things on Facebook, mm -hmm. just in memory of when certain dates come around, okay. like his birthday, and, you know, mm -hmm. good things. I remember I am still in negotiation on a cemetery plot, and now I changed the color, and I have to go talk to somebody else. You mean? The color of the stone. Okay. The granite. Okay. I want it to match the, his sons and his brothers. Oh, okay. Are they all right near each other? Yep. They're all in a row. Okay. And so I'm going to, the one that I had originally chosen just doesn't look that. It's got coral in it and brown, and mm -hmm. the, the other ones are black and gray. Mm. So yeah. it just doesn't look right, and I want his to be nice. So I have to go talk to somebody else at another monumental place. The one that you've already talked to, they won't do it in a different kind of way? No, he said he can't get that. These stones, some stones come from India. And they're much more expensive because they have to come from India. And um, so the dark granite they can't get. Is right. But they don't know. Okay. Right. Huh. Something most of us never think about. No one would ever know. Right. No. And I don't think I can be there, but I was trying to. I thought he bought two plots, but he bought one. <laughs> Does that surprise you? No. <laughs> so. Mm. I just want to get it over with so I don't have to think about it. I can understand that. It's been a couple of years already, hasn't yep. it? Yeah, more of it, yep. Yeah. August 11th, that was two years. just seems like a dream. You mean the past two years? Mm -hmm. that my nephew lost a toe. Huh, from what? Um, I don't know, yeah, diabetes, but I don't know how. Well, how that often happens is that if, if, he, if it's from his diabetes that he doesn't feel his toe mm -hmm. and he got an ingrown toenail or a little cut or something like that 
and as a result of not carefully taking care of his feet, um, you know, he didn't know it was there. Mm -hmm. And uh, then the bone was infected and there was nothing more that could be done. Good? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go through my shoes this week and get rid of everything I don't wear. It, you know, women have a lot of shoes. <laughs> Alright, well everything here looks good. Um, are you wearing socks today? No. Do you want lotion? I should. Yeah, I would like okay. some. a half hour early and forgot my mail, forgot all kinds of stuff. Oh. <laughs> all right, so I just want to do a teaching moment here for a second. So people will often ask what are um, all these little scaly things on the feet. So this is a skin condition right in here, all these little scales. They are called stucco keratoses because they look like a stucco siding of a house. Sometimes you can kind of flick them off and sometimes not. And they're completely benign. And um, you just lotion them a lot and there's nothing really to be done for them except lotion, lotion, lotion. So that's what a lot of these scaly, little scaly spots are. I'll try to do better than this. <laughs> no, that wasn't a reprimand. It was just um, showing, mm -hmm. you know, what, what these are. So, okay, well, thank you for letting us do the video. Okay, thank you.